What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys, welcome back to another Meta 25 gameplay. And today, we have the 49ers going up against the Panthers. I am going up against a very good friend of mine, Moonlight Swami. Link is in the description annotation above. Make sure you guys go on ahead and click either one and subscribe to his channel, whether you're on mobile or iPad, iPhone, iRock, iStone, whatever it is you're on, make sure you go on ahead and check out Moonlight Swami. Uh, if you're on a device where you can't see uh, descriptions or you can't see links, just search Moonlight Swami and make sure you guys subscribe to him, man. Very good pal of mine. Um, he has a sim league. Uh, the 49ers are 0 and 8. He had a vacancy. And uh, he asked me if I would like to join the league, and I'm like, sure. Um, and it just so happens that um, my first game was against him in week 10. You know, we're only 8 plus by, 8 plus 1 is 9, and then, you know, this is week 10. So, uh, this fun, I had a, uh, this fun, this game I had a blast in. It's very uh, sim. Moonlight Swami is very, very, there's a lot of things to love about Moonlight Swami. Let, let me, let me, let, let me learn you some about Moonlight Swami. One uh, one thing that I'll never forget, and I'll, I'll give him tons of respect until I'm no longer living on this earth. If anybody remembers, really quickly, I was in Game Face Studios last year. There was a big controversy. I was unable to do a video. I was supposed to go up against Shake and Bake, who I would have blown up. I would have killed him. Now, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I would have tried very hard. Um, Shake and Bake is an awesome commentator. It would have been tough. Um, if I would have lost, I would have lost to somebody who was very, very, very good at commentating. I enjoy Shake and Bake videos. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of people do, you know what I mean? So, he's a very, very worthy, uh, you know, opponent to go up in that style, you know, one-to-one, -one head head-to-head videos. And, uh, I, I love his videos, you know, if I didn't, I wouldn't say I did, but I actually do enjoy his videos a lot. And, um, you know, I was supposed to go up against him, and I was unable to do a video. It was a big controversy, you know, because I had a video planned. I had somebody who was supposed to help me do a voice. I was supposed to do a collab voice. And um, the video was going to be, I thought it was going to be big. Um, I was going to do Mike Tyson punch out. And this guy who does a really good voice was supposed to help me out. He was going to do Mike Tyson's voice, and we were going to go back and add it. And I was going to have a storyline. You know, so, but at the very last moment, right there, we get an interception. No, some of you. Give it to me, baby. How long has it been since you heard that? That right there deserves a like on this video. If I got a thousand likes on this video, but hey, no, give it to me, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your life. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, big controversy. I was unable to do a video, like I said, at the last minute. He's like, yo, I can't do it. And I was like, damn, I didn't even, I wasn't expecting this. And then um, I was unable to do a video, and everybody in Game Face Studios, like, hated me. I got kicked out of Game Face Studios. Everybody unfollowed me on Twitter. And Moonlight Swami was one of the few people who actually still reached out to me. It was like, you know what? I hope everything's okay, man. I understand the situation. He was one of the few people to still, you know, um, give me respect and, you know, understood what my situation was when everybody hated me. You know, there was a lot of, you know, let me not say everybody. There, there was, you know, 80% of Game Face stories at the time wanted nothing to do with me because, you know, I was part of the group and I was unable to do the video and like I said I got kicked out of the group and it was just a big fiasco but he was somebody who showed love you know and like I said I'll never forget that man so um he is I, I call him the human sports almanac <laughs> like he is so well just minded in sports like any sport you say like he knows stats like you wouldn't believe he's one of those guys and if anybody knows Moonlight Swami anybody will say he has the greatest hair in the Madden community. Greatest, like Troy Palumalu, as godlike as his hair is, he would look at Moonlight Swami and say, you know what? I want to run my fingers through his hair. I want to stroke his scalp. That's how just wonderful Moonlight Swami's hair is. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. His hair is a God's gift of gift. I don't, I don't know what to say. His hair is absolutely voluptuous. <laughs> but... Um, you know, he's very, very good in sport. His commentating style is, is so, I know I'm going on way too long, but I just have so much respect for him. And I just want you guys to really subscribe to him and, you know, just understand why I think you should subscribe to him. Not because he's a good friend of mine, but because just, you know, he's an awesome commentator. You know what I mean? Uh, he brings a very authentic broadcast style of commentary and it's very fun to listen to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he, he brings good energy. And like I said, he, he has that broadcast style of, um, of, 
I was about to say broadcasting, broadcast style, broadcasting, broadcast style of commentating, and it's absolutely uh, always a treat to get to watch a Moonlight Swami video. So uh, long, you know, I went long on enough, but uh, you know, go on ahead, show some love, make sure you guys say, you know, GS went ahead and sent me. If you guys have not heard about him yet, and you're finding out about him through this video, uh, you know, it would mean a lot to me if you guys did me that favor, went ahead and uh, you know, show some love to him. Um, if you don't. Nothing I can do about it <laughs> But for the people who do You know I, I personally want to thank Each and every single one of you guys Who take out the time And either click the link Check the description Or um, You know Search Moonlight Swami Also link in the description You can find Mr. Golden Sports t-shirt shop Where you can buy Your very own Mr. Golden Sports apparel Alright Enough of this selfish promotion Another Interception No Come to me baby It's a football And I'm like no! Get up get up get up Oh man you gotta be kidding me I pushed back He was open I heard him say he was open You don't say You don't tell me to do something If, if, if when I'm gonna do it It's wrong You know what I'm saying Chris Webber Let me take it back Chris Webber 1993 March 17th 8-17 No I don't know the date I don't know But he was in the final Was it the championship game He was in the championship game It was against I don't know Duke or I don't know He was going up against somebody And the bench Somebody told him to call a timeout And he called a timeout And they lost the damn game You know what I'm saying And everybody blamed Chris Webber Chris Webber ain't had nothing to do with that Somebody told him to call a timeout on the bench I seen the video I seen the highlights They're like yo Chris Call timeout Call timeout He calls timeout The referee's like Whoa whoa wait a minute Wait a minute Wait a minute Okay we're gonna stop the clock But there's a problem You have no more timeouts And according to NCAA What was the uh, uh, National Collegiate Athletic Ability I don't know what the hell it stands for I don't know Maybe I do I'm just not thinking right now but whatever the hell it stands for, you know, that's a, that, that's a violation of the rules. You cannot call a timeout. That is a technical foul. They get free throws and ball, whatever, and they lose. So I caught the interception, and he's like, whoa, 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 pitch it back, pitch it back, pitch it back. And, and I didn't look. I just, whoop, I just pitched it back. And he wasn't there to catch the ball. Anyways, so, um, you know, he runs a very sim-style league. Swami is very sim. You know what I mean? I get into right wide open. Vincenzo, I'm going to need you to make those throws. Um, okay, 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 be, be, before I get where I was just at. Swami had a league where um, the drafts were done by the... Everybody's team were auto-drafted. You randomly selected a team and surprise, whoever was on the team, that's who you got. <laughs> you know what I mean? So a Swami at this point in the league is 7-1. And, and like I said, he's very, very sim. You know what I mean? So uh, this league is ran, obviously, by his rules, which is, you know, very sim. And, and when I say sim, I mean sim. <coughs> I mean sim. I mean, staying in two men under, stock cover three, stock cover fours. I can play both styles. I can play sim. I can play non-sim. I can send blitzes. I cannot send blitzes. And, you know, so I'm, I'm, it's definitely tougher to win this way. You know what I mean? In stock coverages because you're not really sending any pressure. It's You're not sending any pressure. So, you know, the opponent has time and, and uh, it, it definitely elevates your game. If you can win this way. You, you can win, you know, uh, against anybody. You know what I mean? I made it into top 100 like three times this year, punting on fourth and inches. You know, and my defense is ass. You know what I mean? So, um, playing this way, obviously, you got to punt on fourth downs. There's a whole lot of things that go into it. And playing this way makes you a better player. And we get into discussions a, a lot last year, and we got into it heavily. And I'm like, you know, um, he defends everybody who plays sim, and that's how it should be played. And people... You know, take fun away from the game when they're sending all these blitzes, manipulating the the computer assistants and doing all this stuff. And uh, so we got into a back and forth. And um, but I understand, you know, where where he's coming from. Um, a, a lot of people turn away, you know, because uh, I'm not the best at the game, but I, I, I know I know a little bit something. You know what I mean? I am good. You know what I mean? Uh, whether you want to think it's you know egotistic to say that, you know, it's. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm I'm very good at the game. You know what I mean? I, I cannot tell you I'm very good at the game. I have statistics to prove that I'm right for the last five years of Madden. I've always been good in Madden. I've always been, as far as rankings go, you know, a, a pretty top tier player. You know what I mean? I've, I've always climbed my ways in the rankings and things like that. And um, I, I've always been a, a, a good player. And I know that, like, if I went up against somebody like, uh, you know, my brother who plays, you know, offline franchises, very similar, whatever. I, I would destroy him. He would have zero chance, and you know, because I would send blitzes and things like that, and, and things that obviously the computer wouldn't send. So, you know, for him, he was like, "This is crazy. This is fun. I don't want to play like this." And and you know, I, I understand because as good as I am, I go up against players who are way more advanced than I am, and I'm like, 
This ain't fun. This sucks. Stop beating me. This ain't fair. I want to do what I want to do, but you're stopping me from doing what it is I want to do. So stop doing what it is you're doing so I can do what it is I want to do. You know what I mean? So um, it's 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 crazy how uh, uh, he right here returned this kickoff. Um, before this game started, we got into a game before and it disconnected during the first drive. Um, I kicked it off to him and he turned. He took the kickoff back for a touchdown. Then I had the ball, and then the game lagged out, and then we got back into the game. So that's technically the second time he returned it on me. But um, like I was saying, man, he's a very for for him to be sim. He, he's a good player. You know what I mean? For somebody who's just calling regular coverages and you know trying his uh, you know best to work with the defense, calling that he, he's a good player. You know what I mean? So um, it, it's it's not easy, uh, you know, winning this way. But you know, like I said, if you can win this way, you can win anyway. Um, Right now, we, we have a very good chance of being able to win the game. You know, we're already in field goal range. Uh, right here, we end up running up the middle. We end up scoring a touchdown. So, right now, I feel like game is out of reach. You know, it's right there, I'm squib kicking it. That's it. Moonlight as uh, Moonlight. Why would I call him Moonlight? I usually call him Swami. I, I was about to say Moonlight Swami, and I cut myself off from saying Swami. So, I just kind of technically just call him Moonlight. I don't know what that. I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> but, um, you know, very, very, very fun. Like, I had a, a, a just so much fun playing this game. Uh, it was lengthy. He has seven minute quarters. It is um, with Excel clock, but it's still a little long, you know. But nonetheless, it, it's fun. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, usually when I when I played sim, it was always offensively. Like I would play special teams, but I would still, you know, on defense, send the blitzes and do all the other crazy stuff that I've uh, gotten to learn or stole from T Raw. And uh, um, this right here, there was none of that. You know, just complete stock coverages, and uh, it was difficult and very, 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 very fun. Now, obviously, offensively is where I've always been best at Madden. I've always had an offense to usually carry me, you know, to victory just off of, you know, that alone. I'm, I'm usually, you know, decent enough on offense to where, you know, defensively, all I need is a mistake or two from you and hopefully remain. Because I've said that a trillion times. You guys know how I usually win. And um, so, you know, I come into this game already having, you know, a, a very, uh, you know, good offense. Offense that has, you know, gotten me to the top 100. And, you know, I've, I've done work with this offense. So I come into this game, you know, and, and I'm able to have success, um, you know, in this game as well. You know, defensively, we got lucky. You know what I mean? He, he made some he made some mistakes and some things just didn't go his way. And uh, we caught some breaks. But uh, that's the end of the game, guys. We end up winning. Do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to Moonlight Swami. Um, the KC uh, offensive playbook that I run, I think I'm going to do a breakdown soon. So look out for that. It's your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.